So let's just go over something briefly, right? Because it's almost like this stuff happens in stages and it's easier when you lay it out. It's easier for people to understand when you lay it out in front of them. So when we had that um, Hawaii doing their nuclear sirens test, they did that since the first time since the end of the Cold War. And right after that, we had those missile launches, right? Um, some of some countries were doing remote sensing technology. Some were testing weapons. There were different excuses and reasons, supposedly. But um, the U.S. had did that. That was the SpaceX missile launch that looked, you know, really, uh, really crazy, as you can, you know, see on the screen. Um, there was also the Japanese rocket launch that happened uh, the day after. Okay, Russia the day after, uh, just you know, two days after that, they had done you know the same thing with a an, a missile launch, a missile test. Um, China as well. Okay, they did the remote sensing satellites okay so all of these nations you had china japan russia america i believe there's one other they're all testing these things at the same time right after you know hawaii has that um nuclear tests and not only that but hawaii also had that false missile alert um at the turn of the year which was just a month after they were testing their um, sirens for the first time since the Cold War. They had that um, missile uh, uh, alert. And it says right here, you know, people huddled in bathtubs. They ran into businesses or rushed into basements. They got into storm drains. You know, uh, Hawaii's 1.4 million residents thought they were under ballistic missile attack and they did everything they could to try to get to safety. And what they're talking about is video footage that was seen of people putting children into storm drains because they thought they were going to be attacked because of that false missile alert. OK, now, after that fear from that false missile alert, um, Japan also had a false missile alert where they had said that they were going to be, you know, attacked. And that was covered here as well. And that happened right after Hawaii's um, air. OK. And then after all of that, after the, you know, Japan and Hawaii and, and stuff, we had the presidential alert. And just like the timing of the shutdown going on pause right before, you know, the football the, or the Super Bowl, we had that presidential alert. Um, being tested right before President Trump started talk of the national emergency, um, state of emergency. I, I think when we start to include the timing of these things and we look at this, it's like they're, they're setting a stage. Because I've also, t we talked about, you know, Jade Helm. We talked about Cascadia Rising before. They, they do these things in advance in anticipation, okay? And it puts this stuff in in the psyche of the people's mind some people don't know about it and, and some who do they get um they get used to this stuff so they get desensitized to it and i think that if we're just starting to if we don't look at at these things as just isolated incidents and we start to connect the dots i think we start to see a bigger picture start to form and that's all i'm saying take care of yourselves out there california carter signing off